welcome back. This is my second take. <laughs> I had forgotten my cheese. Come on back here real quick. I've got this cool video and I've got this cool recipe. I got it out of this 1965 book. It's called Festive Snacks and Canopies. And let me tell you something. I guess they call this a snack. I don't know. You could make this for Christmas. You can make this for dinner or you could just make it for a snack and take a few bites because it's that good. So it's scallop potatoes and it's going to take you about three or four things. And the good thing about these old cookbooks, it didn't take a lot to make a good meal back then. I buy new cookbooks and it takes like 12 items. And I'm like, I don't want to buy 12 items. I only want to buy two or three items and make a good dish. So come on back here real quick. I got my potatoes and I just peeled my potatoes and I sliced them thin. And what you can do is if it, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to just slice, 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 I noticed if you cut it in half, it's a lot easier and you just go like this. That's a lot easier. As you can see, I already cut my finger. <laughs> I nicked my finger. I know. I could not believe it. I was like, great. I cannot believe it. Oh, before I go on, oh my gosh, my drink of the day, a Fred Press glass, 1967. This artist of barware was incredible. If you look him up, his sets of glasses still go for $400 to $600. He sold glasses all over. All these fancy stores on Fifth Avenue sold Fred Press glasses. And I love this. I have a whole little set, you know. I don't have like a big set, but supposedly, I think this is gold. I don't really know if that is. 14 karat gold, not sure. But anyway, I thought, well, we're going to try this out. And I want to show off this glass because, like I tell you, I've had it for a long time. And we're using the Jack Daniels Hunt. Honey. As you can see behind me, I got Mr. Blue Eyes, chairman of the board. Frank Sinatra died on May 14th, and I thought, you know what? We're going to do a cheers to him because I don't drink a lot of Jack and Coke, but I decided I wanted one today, and I've got my tea ice stir, and I tried the honey. They also had the apple, and I had apple the other day, apple crown, so I thought, no, 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 we're trying this. So, big sip. Mm. It's smooth, guys, I gotta tell you. It's not as sharp as the regular Jack Daniels, which I'm not a big whiskey drinker at all. So this is pretty smooth, I gotta give it to him. Mm. I recommend the honey one, I like that, I like it. So come on over here, you're gonna get your pan, I already got started. You're gonna get your pan, you're gonna get your little bitty slices of potatoes and your little thin slices. And you slice them as, you know, the way you want to. They can be bits and pieces. They can be little circles. Whatever's easier for you. You're going to coat your pan with your spray. And you're going to get your little pieces of potato. You're just going to layer them up. And this is kind of a big piece. I think I would almost like put that, cut that in half just so it can cook evenly, you know, and just, you know, you're going to cook this at 400. And what you're going to do is after you combine all your items, you're going to cook this with foil for 40 minutes. You're going to take the foil off and then you're going to cook it for another 30 minutes and it's ready to go. So it is going to take time. It is going to take your oven. I know it's a cool kind of cloudy day in Houston, Texas today. That's why I'm doing this. So anyway, I uh, get my little butter. I get my butter and I just kind of add little pieces of butter. I had froze my butter and grated it thinking it would be easier. It wasn't, it wasn't, it's all sticky and weird. So anyway, just add a little bit more, add a little bit more potatoes, evenly, whatever. You can also combine sweet potato and regular russet potatoes. That's the one up that's coming up. Oh my gosh. Yep, yep, already worked on that one. You're gonna take your milk. You can take heavy cream if you want to. I didn't want to. I'm just doing half a cup of milk. You can go a little bit between layers. You can pour the whole thing on top, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you get that half cup of milk in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of these bacons. I've talked about these bacon bits before. They're the real bacon. They're in the aisle of the salad area. And I love them, because it's better than the cheap bacons. And you just keep piling on. Keep piling on some more. Oh, I have a kitty. <laughs> I'm like, what? I was like, I hear, I hear one of my pets. Okay, so there you go. There you go. You got all your potatoes. You got all your potatoes on there. Add a little bit more. You can add more butter. So it's half cup, half cup, half cup. Like I always tell you, half cup, half cup, half cup. Super easy, and that's what I like about it. It just goes fast. You know, peel your potatoes at one time and then come back. You don't have to do all this at one time. You know, whatever is easier for you. 
add your little potato, I mean, add your little, your bacos. And you know, I don't add all of them just because, you know, and you can add salt and pepper. I'll probably, I probably forgot my salt and pepper, so. And you're gonna add your cheese. And I did a combination of the white and the, you know, just the, the, the cheeses combined. You know, I just bought the bag of cheeses. And this is why you have to cover it, guys, so that it doesn't burn. You know, because your cheese will turn weird and black. You don't want that. So anyway, just add as much cheese as you want. You could even add cheese between the layers, but I didn't. I didn't. And I can finish off with my milk on top. Super good, super easy. Here's my foil. I'm gonna put my foil over this. Like I tell you, I'm gonna bake it first, 40 minutes. Take it, take it out of the oven, take this foil off, bake it for another 30, 35 minutes. 390, 400, you're gonna get this fantastic feast. And like I tell you, through the magic of TV, oh yeah, we're having the combo. Oh, it's a little warm, it's a little warm. We're having the combo of the sweet potatoes and that's the orange on here is the sweet potatoes and the regular potatoes. I love this. I love this. I wanted to try it and I knew I could do both potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut a little piece. I seem to want to cut in a pie every time I get a round dish. I don't know why. So let's get that. Oh my gosh. I've got my oldies, <laughs> my oldie El Cortez music. I thought it was fitting for Frank Sinatra today instead of my disco. Uh, oops, this kind of, I'm going to have to cut this a little bit because it seems like it's all in one piece. Okay. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Let's have a little bite of this. Let's have a little bite of this. It looks good. Mmm. Mmm. I like it, guys. And you know why? Because I cut the layers super thin and they're fully cooked. Mmm. They have the bacon in there. And I can taste that it's moist. And it's got the cheese, which, of course, we all love cheese, right? Oh, my gosh. And you know what? It's a different flavor with the, with the, uh, with the sweet potatoes. Yep. Yep. It's a little different. I got to tell you. I'm going to try this one more often. I might make this one for the holidays. Just because everybody does, you know, regular potatoes. We do regular potatoes for everything. You might want to mix it up with sweet potatoes. I'm impressed. I like it. Check it out and see if you like this. Try it out. Come on back here real quick for my funny little craft. This isn't going to take you but maybe 20 bucks, <laughs> depending on what you want to do. I know, $20 for a craft? Yeah, I know, it's crazy. What you're going to do, this is called a money lay or a lotto lay. So you're going to take your lay. Here's your lay of your Hawaiian lay. I should have did this one last week. It's graduation season. It's Mother's Day. If you have a favorite aunt that goes to the bingo, these are her tips. These are her quick tab pull, uh, quick dollar bills. You grab your money, you grab your dollars. And the good thing about these lays, they're from the dollar store. They have these straws between them, and that's where you're going to put your dollar bills. So as you can see, you get a dollar bill. Or if you want to do a $100 lay for a graduate, you know, if it's someone in the family, make it even bigger, make it even better. So you're going to take this, you're going to fold. And the reason you're going to fold it first is to find your little, your little slits where you go. You know, you're going to find your little creases. So you fold in half again and again. And then you're going to fold in half this way. Look, I nicked myself earlier. I know, I know, it's terrible. Cut myself, got a little cut. And you're going to fold again. Whoops, that's not really even there. Let me even that out. Okay, and the reason you're going to do this is because now you've got your creases. And you're going to open this up. And then you're going to go accordion style. Every other one. Flip, flop, flip, flop. So you're going to flip, flop this one. This one. Back and forth, back and forth. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Your dollar bill. And the tape you're going to use, guys, is going to be painter's tape. Why do you use painter's tape? Because it's forgiving and it comes right off. I noticed several of these online, and people are using uh, people are using uh, regular tape. That's not good. You could you could mess up your money. You don't want to do that. So you're just going to take a little bitty piece of tape, and you're going to fold this over like a flower, and you're going to gather this. Let me see if I can show you. You're going to gather this, and you're going to tape one one area right here. So you're going to gather one little piece right here, tape that. There's your flower. There's your other flower. There's your other little piece. 
So decide where you're gonna gather it at. I know I do this better when I'm not on film. So there's your little flower right there. But see, it's open on one side. You're gonna grab this little area. I already got started and did several. And <laughs> you're just gonna add it again to your little pieces of straw. Cut another little piece off. Go between the straw right here and close this up. As you can see, can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, close that up. Super easy, super cool craft. And heck, you know, we can give money to people in a graduate and everything. There it is. You can give money to everybody in a graduate and everything in a regular envelope because we always put it in an envelope. But this is more fun. I like this one. So I like this one, but a better one is the Lotto Lay. <gasps> I love the Lotto Lay. Okay, here it is. You're gonna get your little lottery ticket and I saved a couple. I love anything that folds and everything. I don't know why, I've always loved origami. I like doing this stuff with paper. I don't go out and buy paper, but if I see pretty paper, I buy it. So you're gonna take your lotto ticket. You don't wanna destroy it or anything. You're gonna fold down a corner and you're gonna get your other little piece of tape. Let me get this knife out of here before I cut myself again. And you're gonna take this and there's one of the little pieces of straw in between. And you're gonna go, well, this one will be upside down, but it's no big deal. And it's gonna go like this. You're gonna bend the corner and you're gonna put your little piece of tape. There it is right there. And that holds really well. And when you're ready to play, that tape just comes right off. It doesn't destroy your ticket. It doesn't mess it up. It looks really cute. And let me tell you something, people like getting these for their birthday. They like wearing them around. You have an office worker, it's even more fun. So anyway, no big deal, big sip. Oh, and what I was gonna tell you is when I'm, when I'm going to Vegas and I'm on the plane, I take the vampire flight, I love to make little hearts. I've told somebody about this before. I make little hearts out of my dollar bill. And I, you know, if you wanna practice, cut a piece of paper out of a dollar bill, you know, cut, cut, cut the same size, cut the same size of dollar bill practice. I practiced on this one the other day. I make my dollars like this. I have about 30 or 40 of them in my bag. And when I give a tip, I give a heart shaped dollar bill as a tip. And people look at it and they're like, what is, oh, how did you do it? And I'm like, it's like four folds. And you get this cute heart for a tip for a cocktail waitress, you know, someone at the airport, whatever. It's just fun. It's different. <laughs> it makes people laugh. So anyway, I thank you for coming back. Big cheers to Mr. Blue Eyes. He had a good life. He lived a long time. And we all love Vegas. So big sip and mm, have a great week, guys.